Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about a special device we have. It's the 10 gigabyte high power PoE injector. So it must sound really not familiar because we talk about like high power PoE injectors and regular PoE injectors never mention about the bandwidth. Well the 10 gigabyte bandwidth is like very very big. It can allow a lot of data to come through at the same time. And we're going to wonder if it will be overkill when we use it on like regular surveillance systems. Well it is kind of using this will be like overkill because regular surveillance systems they work very good when it's like 100 or 1000 megabits per second which is like 1 gigabyte per maximum at 1 gigabyte megabyte gigabytes per second. And now if we use like a 10 gigabytes there's like 90% of its bandwidth being vacant at the whole time. It's really a waste. So in what circumstances do we use something like this? Well, imagine there is a product in the market right now that it's called the Unifit XG access point. It's a wireless access point, but it's really special because it can, it can create mul multi multiple virtual access points and it can handle over hundreds of users accessing the internet at the same time. So this requires a very, very big bandwidth, which 10 gigabyte is perfect for it. So this can create that kind of bandwidth for it when we would connect this to the access point. And also, a device, you know, attaching with so many users at that time also requires a high power injection. This can inject up to 90 watts as well, so it can both satisfy its need for power and bandwidth. It's really special. And an injector is really benefit and it's really easy to attach. Like we don't have to use a new switch because sometimes two different brands of uh, internet switches will kind of malfunction when they connect with each other. It's really easy. So I'll do a really easy setup first. So we just plug in the power. And then and then we connect one Ethernet cable to the internet. So this port says data. And another one to our device. In this case, the unif unifit unify XG access point. So then the whole complete setup will be done and then our access point will be functioning and everything will be good and go. And these are our regular uh, injectors. This one is like a high power and this is a regular. They don't look that, look that much different but they can benefit us a lot because once we need like some power injecting to a PoE device and our data source does not require that feature or not enough power an ejector can help us fix it. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions and comments about this device, you can leave them at the section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.